2016 Southwest Three Peaks race saw six teams gather in the picturesque port of St Moore's, Cornwall. The competitors had three hard days ahead of them which would see them run, cycle and sail covering nearly 300 miles in total. First off were the runners, which would see them do a five mile loop from the St Moore's uh, Harbour side up to St Just and back. Team Hoofing Ashore built up a massive lead, which saw them back in St Moore's in 34 minutes to set up a new record for this particular leg. The big lead that Team Hooping Ashore had built up in their run allowed them to get away first from St Moore's in their little SNS 30 half turner, the slowest boat in the fleet. With usual suspects, the last boat to leave St Moore's Harbour, the fleet had a 37 mile sail ahead of them down to Newlyn. A CG, the little F28 Tri, was the first to pass the Lizard with a healthy 20 minute lead. The sail race of trackers clocking at a nearly 15 knots across the bay in a stiff northwesterly breeze. But with a stiff beat into Newlyn Harbour, the X362 of Muscot managed to take 10 minutes out of the uh, tries time to win the leg on corrected time. The next leg saw a steep climb out of uh, Newley and a nine mile cycle light ride to Nookporth Kerno, famous as the home of the 19th century submarine cables that linked the UK with far flung parts of the world.
second man leg saw a great comeback by Team Usual Suspects. After a last in St Moors, they took a useful first place as they cycled into uh, Newlyn and a great 10 minutes out of their time. The second sea leg saw a 55 mile sail from uh, Newlyn Harbour down to Foy. Uh, Muscat was first into Pole Ruin and again managed to take a first place for this leg on corrected time. The next leg was a 22 mile cycle ride up from Pole Ruin to Jamaica Inn, high on Bodmin Moor. Then a five mile run up to Brown Willie, Cornwall's highest point, and back to uh, Jamaica Inn to get on the boat. After nearly 50 miles of cycling and running, team got a good feeling, won the leg in 4 hours 50 minutes. The third sea leg saw a 25 mile sail from Foy down into Plymouth. Despite leaving some two hours before the next boat from Pol Ruin and being the first into Plymouth, Muska ended up being last on corrected time 
Losing out to the later boats who all benefited from an increasing breeze later in the afternoon. Whilst the land crew headed up onto Dartmoor, the sailors took a trip round to Eddiston Lighthouse and back into Queen Anne's Battery. The Eddiston Leg saw Muscot back on top, taking first place on corrected time. For the final land leg to Yes Tour, Team Hoofing Ashore set their second uh, record time with an impressive uh, 5 hours 35 minutes. So overall winners again for the second year running were Team Muscot, but pushed hard by the uh, slowest boat in the fleet, uh, Hoofing Run Ashore, who had some impressive land times, and in third place the mixed crew of usual suspects.